Namaste, Shalom, Salam, everybody. This is Gaia Mother Sophia. I am just going to allow whatever is meant to flow at this moment. Now, if you watched my stories on Instagram, you would see how I was talking about a broccoli and how meditating on the broccoli and the painting in my house brought me to the realization like really brought me to the realization that we are all part of the whole that there is this broccoli which in itself is the whole and within each piece of it contains the same information that's within the whole that means that me as a healer as a creator is the same as you that as a healer i believe that this is the reason why i have access to information about you when when my some of my clients are on on this uh, instagram so when uh, my clients come i i can access information about your past karma your past lives your present and what will happen and i believe that's because i am clear enough and a pure energy enough to connect to myself because you are me so yes I am the incarnation of Kuan Yin, Goddess Isis, Mother Mary, and the female Christ. Now in the modern day, how would I present myself? So I would take this off. I would take this off because does this make me more spiritual and more religious? No, sometimes I like to wear it in ceremony. Sometimes I like to wear it because it reminds me of what was. And there's nothing wrong in remembering what was. But I was also the goddess of wisdom, Sophia in Greek mythology. And if you look at those goddesses, even if you look at the temples of India, these goddesses are not wearing any clothes. So I'll take my shirt off and still give you a religious, spiritual sermon. Can I do that? By the way, excuse the noise in the background, it's my dogs. They're all a part of this as well. So here I am now in my bra and I would take it off to give you a spiritual religious sermon. I'm worried about the uh, Instagram police at this moment. Um, so I'm going to deliver this in my bra. I have beautiful breasts. I have a beautiful body and I love myself and that's okay to say so have you. This Venus energy and Jupiter coming in on the 4th has got me feeling sensual i have been masturbating because my sacral energy has been on fire and i've been carrying it up to my heart and through my uh, crown why is this happening to the former nun who had no sexual feelings because it is time because your sexual energy is the creative force so <laughs> i'm doing this real time with my dogs in the background who are fighting over a toy Excuse me, Hector, come here. Come here, don't you know I'm trying to deliver a sermon here? So yes, I'm delivering a religious sermon. This to me is a religious and spiritual sermon. So, we are part of the whole. Every single one of you is an expression of God and every single one of you is an expression of each other. Apart from the dark energies which are being wiped out as we speak, but we are all an expression of each other. I am God. I am God. I am Mother Mary. And let me tell you, she was not a virgin. She was a warrior. She was a warrior. So right now, especially for women, the sexual, sensual, pure, erotic energy is alive right now. Have a glass of wine with me or champagne I'm, I'm drinking a vegan champagne one second okay you guys i've been way too noisy sure. sorry i have to stop the dogs this is real time and also me saying i am god you two are you are gods you are God, you are God. Just like that broccoli, you are God. You are a fractal of the whole. 
So for too long, the sacred feminine, I'm going to talk about the feminine energy first. The sacred feminine has been demonized. Beautiful women have been taught to you that they are stupid and dumbass. Well, as a healer, I've worked with some of the most beautiful women in the world. I'm not bragging, I'm telling the truth. Some of the most beautiful women in the world. And let me tell you how intelligent they are, how beautiful their souls are, and how intelligent they are. And because of the dark energy that came in a long time ago that made you demonize and sexualize women in the wrong way to keep that sexual energy down in the sacral root chakra, it's made you see women with the wrong eyes. Even women were judging women, but they're not anymore because that time is over. So beautiful women are beautiful for a reason because they're beautiful inside and out when you look at a blossom on a tree the blossom is beautiful and if you could hear what the blossom is saying because the trees and the flowers do speak you will hear the beauty of what they say so you when you realize your own beauty will flower like the blossom on the tree and when you speak you will speak nothing but things that are beautiful and people will see your beauty So, we celebrate with wine or champagne, grape, it's grape. So I'm celebrating with the gate, grape. <laughs> I can make a mistake without you guys thinking I'm drunk, not drunk. I'm enjoying the holy grape, the grape from the land of Jerusalem, that Jesus drunk, my son. Can you not believe that Jesus was my son and that I was Mary? Can you not believe that you are too that Christ? Because the consciousness of Christ is now released in all of you and in the children. Therefore, the access of that divine energy is in the church, in the temple, in the mosque. And your body is the church and the temple and the mosque. Now, within your sexual energy lies the divinity of creation. I've experienced that on my ayahuasca journeys where I was absolutely nothing. And that's what I became when I was a nun. I was nothing. I didn't associate to anything that I'd built up all of my whole entire life. I became nothing. I wanted nothing. I had no sexual feelings to now when my sacral chakra is on fire and it's rising. The Kundalini is going mad inside my body. And some of you are feeling that too, if you're connected. Those who are connected are feeling it, go with it. Those who want, who have said to me, Sophia, I feel like I need to drink. I'm like, drink, don't drink spirits because they're harsh. The energy of a spirit of harsh, drink something from the grape. Drink from the grape. And by the way, if you want to know what I'm drinking, think it's um less than three grams of carbs for the whole thing vegan organic so it's good for the body so i know that what my body feels is a, is a reflection a refraction a fraxel of what the whole is feeling and that is divine love, divine ecstasy, divine creation. Look at what's happening right now. Ah, oh, I'm loving it. Nature is showing herself because she has allowed you all to stop. Corona, the crown, the sun has allowed you to stop and be with each other and care for each other. That's what's happening compassion and love right now is shining through the most oh yes <laughs> compassion and love is shining through the most and women have reclaimed their sensuality their sexuality without shame see when a woman can express her sensuality and her sexuality without shame that does not only benefit herself but those around her but those around her, her friends, her family, her lover, lovers. So benefit from the energy of 
the divine mother who is feeling this sensual eroticism right now in every part of her being that is Gaia that is the planet she is feeling it and where is she feeling it from because Venus is powerful right now I want to take my bra off right now but I can't because this is Instagram why? I want to get naked because there's where my power without shame, the female form without shame is powerful. No shame in my mind is powerful. And as soon as the women walk around without shame, the men will not look at you with shame, but they will see you as powerful goddesses. <laughs> Super happy about that because I am powerful right now. Coming from a woman who was abused as a child, who grew up in a, in, a, in a religion that suppressed all that a woman is to grow to what I am now, it's a celebration. It's a huge celebration for not just me, but for every single woman on this planet, for every single plant and flower on this planet. And I thank all of you for being a part of this journey. All of the people I've healed, all of my fans are part of this journey. Let's go to the men. For too long, men have been put under pressure to be a particular way. The masculine energy has been told to be one that is the provider, one without emotion. One whose sexual energy is to, to be dispersed and stay in the lower regions and not come up to the heart. And that has caused a lot of confusion within the masculine energy because the masculine energy is not that. Believe it or not, the masculine energy is submissive. Submissive to the female divine energy. And when I talk about the feminine energy, it's not just about a man to a woman. It could be a man who possesses the divine feminine because all men have the feminine within them and in them there is one that expresses it more. Men do have the divine feminine because everyone is born female. It's a scientific fact. Everyone is born female. So I'm not talking about man and woman. I'm talking about man and woman, man and man, woman and woman. Whatever combination that is. Trans. This has got nothing to do with the physical representation of your body. It's energetic. Energetically, you all come from the mother, so you all encompass the feminine energy. So the masculine energy has been restricted. And it was told that it's the provider, but it was also told that the female is weak, the weaker sex they called us, but we're not. See, a man's full potential and power comes when he allows the divine sacred feminine into his heart because it will then support him and make him grow in ways that he never thought he could. Go back to the ancient Egyptians, goddess Isis, which is one of my incarnations had the crown on her head, she chose who the king was. And the king revered her. But she chose wisely, and this is what women aren't doing today. They're not choosing wisely. Not all of you. Some of you have chosen wisely because I've met you. Because they forgot that they were queens. They forgot that they were goddesses. Well, I'm reminding you today, you are goddesses. The energy is strong of Venus. All of you, man and woman, can take advantage of this powerful, powerful energy right now. You are gods. I am creator. I am the mother. I'm the head of that broccoli. And you are the children that contain all of that information. So there is no difference between you and I. Celebrate this. Celebrate this. As I celebrate my sensuality, my sexuality, my divinity. I know that you are celebrating it too. In the church, they give you wine. There is a reason for everything. I love you. Namaste, shalom, salam, everybody.